What's going on, Connecticut? Welcome to another edition of Chips Unnamed Local Band Show. Tonight we're down here at the Comcast Theater in Hartford, Connecticut, because on May 28th and 29th, Bomb Fest is coming to this stage and two other stages outside. And in this episode, we're all about Bomb Fest. Welcome to the secret lair, and it does look like a secret lair, nice decoration job, of the band Eula. We are down here in Hamden, and as of this moment, the minute that camera turned on, you guys are the first ever band to appear on the show twice. All right. Welcome back. We are down here again Hi. to talk to this band for two big reasons, and the first reason we talked about a little bit when we were here last time, it's this album right here, brand spanking new. It's called Maurice Narcisse. And I have to say that this album is fantastic. I listened to the whole thing today at my desk, and it was awesome. The production is fantastic. How do we feel about this? Digging it. <laughs> Good answer. Digging it. Digging it. Anybody want to expound on that? Uh, did anyone ask you to turn it down while you were listening? Headphones, my friend. Uh, okay. Headphones. No. But in all honesty, this record is just... It's fantastic. It really is. Thank and. You. You know, we, we caught a glimpse of some of this music live when you guys opened the M.T. Barrington CD release show, and this album, I think, really captured that live essence of the band, which is what you guys have really built your reputation on, is, you know, some pretty fierce live shows. So, are, tell me about the album. Are you, are you pleased with how it came out? Is there anything you'd change? Or? Can I take that? Yeah. No, we spent a long time on this, and uh, I think it came out well. Uh, I think we're all pretty critical. And uh, this is like 99.9% perfect. I mean, it really came out well. And it, it's nice to have a full length to be able to expand on the live show. There's stuff in there that we don't necessarily play live because it's a little more intricate. Um, so it's good. Yeah, I'm impressed with this record, I have to say. I, I do think, and I'm a fan of your older releases, but I think this is your best so far. And anytime a band can continue to put out better and better records, you know you guys are moving in the right direction. Now, speaking of live shows, the other reason why we're here, because this show is sponsored by BombFest, <laughs> and there's a band in this room that is playing on BombFest, and it's not Lionel Richie, and it's not Madonna. Uh, Sade? It's not Sade. Sade, it's Eula. So let's talk about that. How excited are we to be playing at the Comcast Theater for BombFest? I'm very excited because my very first concert was uh, the Cranberries at the Meadows when I was like, I don't know, 10, did they, did they play Linger? They did. And she like changed outfits, I think it was nine times, and it blew my mind. And they only played eight songs. <laughs> nine outfit Figure changes. Out. Awesome. Figure it out. I don't know how that math works, but it works. So what, what, do you, what type of opportunity? I mean, let's talk about this for a second, because we were talking all off camera. Like 5,000 bands from Connecticut applied for this thing and in the surrounding areas. You guys are one of 25 bands or so that are playing from Connecticut proper. So tell me about what kind of honor that is. It's a, it's a huge honor, and it's the second time we're playing. So either someone uh, didn't check or really likes us. <laughs> I'll hope the second, but uh, it's really cool. It, it'll be nice to, it's always nice to play a festival because. Not only get, do you get to play, but you get to enjoy the, the day and enjoy the other bands. And, uh, yeah, it, it'll be a lot of fun, I think. I agree. Bomb Fest, May 28th and 29th at the Comcast Theater in Hartford, Eula, one of 25 Connecticut bands. Going to be on one of two stages there. Make sure you check it out. It's going to be awesome. So right now we're going to go into a video. And we showed this video the last time you guys were on the air. I have no qualms about showing it again because I think it's one of the best videos we've ever shown on this show. Directed by Jimmy Patterson, someone Jimmy who Patterson. We're, we're a big fan of yes. out of New Haven. There's a fun story behind the filming of this video, though, that we didn't talk about on air last time. So last time we were here was the middle of a blizzard. Yes. It's a lot nicer out right now. Talk to me, though, about the filming of this video for Texas Stampede. Well, this is a very long story, so... Um... We almost died a couple times in that cab, coming home, all for this Texas Stampede video. But I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it. Two things. One, she's the only person ever to take the mic from me on camera. She's done it twice now. 
Two, the video is totally worth having your car ticketed and towed and being stranded in New Haven in a snowstorm at some restaurant you don't remember the name of. Exactly. It comes off of this record, Maurice Narcisse. Fantastic album. You can pick it up, eulamusic.com. Where else can they purchase it? Um, iTunes, Amazon.com, and I believe one other. I don't know. Those your two. Your and your local record store your local record shop. So check it out. This is the video, Texas Stampede. Coming up after the break, we're going to revisit with a band that played live for us, Heirlooms. 